President William Ruto has formally lodged a preliminary objection to a petition challenging the impeachment of Deputy President Regathi Gachagua. The legal objection, filed through his lawyer Adrian Camotho, contends that the court lacks jurisdiction to hear the case, arguing that the petition is an abuse of the judicial process. According to the court filings, Ruto's legal team claims that the petition was submitted in violation of legal procedures. The document states, the petition filed in this honorable court disregards the law, constitutes an abuse of due process, and cannot be entertained or resolved by this court. This legal battle arises after Gachagua was impeached, sparking significant political tension. President Ruto, named as the fifth respondent in the case, has been drawn into the legal fray alongside other government officials. The president argues that, under the Constitution of Kenya 2010, civil proceedings cannot be instituted against a sitting president or anyone acting in the capacity of the presidency for actions taken in the course of their official duties. He emphasized that the case was improperly directed at his office and should be dismissed without further deliberation. The case was brought forward by a group of petitioners who questioned the legality of the entire impeachment process. Their concerns extend beyond the impeachment of Gachagua to include the appointment of his proposed replacement, Deputy President nominee Ketura Kindiki. The petitioners argue that the Senate's handling of the impeachment was flawed, raising questions about the constitutional integrity of the proceedings. In particular, the petitioners have requested that the court prevent Kindiki from being sworn into office until these concerns are addressed. They argue that the impeachment process itself was legally questionable, and they seek a temporary halt to Kindiki's appointment until the matter is thoroughly reviewed by the court. This case could have significant political ramifications. The impeachment of a sitting deputy president is a rare and contentious move and the involvement of President Ruto has raised the stakes. The president's argument that civil cases cannot be brought against a sitting president during their term is rooted in a constitutional provision meant to protect the office from political interference. However, critics argue that this could potentially shield leaders from accountability. If the court sides with the petitioners, it could delay or even halt the planned swearing-in of Kindiki as the new deputy president. This would create a political vacuum at the highest levels of Kenya's government, intensifying political tensions at a time when stability is crucial. The court's ruling on this objection will be closely watched, as it could set a legal precedent for future cases involving high-level government officials. The decision could also impact the broader discourse on executive immunity and the balance of power within Kenya's constitutional framework. The impeachment process against Gachagua has been part of a larger political struggle within the Kenyan government. While the reasons for his impeachment are under legal scrutiny, the political ramifications have rippled across the country. The Senate's role in the impeachment has come under heavy criticism from opposition leaders and civil society groups who claim that the process lacked transparency and fairness. Furthermore, the move to block Kithura Kandiki's swearing-in as the new deputy president has sparked debate over whether due process was followed in his nomination and whether his appointment would further entrench political divisions. The outcome of this case will not only determine the immediate future of Kenya's deputy presidency, but will also shape the political landscape moving forward. If the petitioners succeed in blocking Kindiki's swearing-in, it could prompt further challenges to the executive branch, while a dismissal of the case might strengthen President Ruto's position and that of his allies. The legal proceedings are ongoing, and it remains to be seen how the court will rule on Ruto's objection and the broader issues surrounding the impeachment. Both the government and the petitioners are preparing for a prolonged legal battle that could have significant consequences for Kenya's political future.